Hey everyone, my name is Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So today's video is going to be my September Sensi Club order haul, whatever you want to call it. It's a little late. Um, for some reason there was some kind of delay. It took longer than usual for the processing time and then the by the time it shipped and everything. But it's finally here, so I'm excited. I have um, three new bars that I've never tried before, so they're going to be new to me. Uh, so I'll save those for last. So I'm going to jump into, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other bars. So I'll start with one of my favorites, uh, Sweet Plum Pastry, nice purple wax. This, I just, I love the scent. Mm, I've talked about it before. I've talked about it a lot. Um, I find this one tends to come back a lot with the bring back my bars, uh, with the voting and whatnot. So um, I don't think it's coming back this round, but... I have a feeling it'll come back the next time. Regardless, it's a bakery scent. Uh, it's plums. I think there's marshmallow fondant and something else. It's just, it's really, really good. In my opinion, anyways. I'm a fruity bakery lover. So this just, for me, it's just... I remember the first time I tried it, it was with uh, Bring Back My Bar. I bought, I don't know, I can't remember if I just got six. And I was like, man, I'm good, you know. And then when I ran out, that's when I was like, oh my God. So when it finally came back with the um, bring back my bar this time around, when I finally put it in my club, that's when I had, I don't know if I already had a club going or I'd started my club at the time, but the moment that this guy came back, I put it right in my club and I started with like four bars or so. And I'm now down to, I think two, maybe one. I'll have to check. I, 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 I'm always updating it. Sorry if you hear uh, the quads and the uh, like motorbikes and whatnot going by. I'm just by the bush. So that sweet plum pastry, I absolutely love it. If you're one of those ones out there that um, feel like you missed out and you really want to try it, um, like I said, it tends to come back often. I think in the, I want to say six years that I've been with Sensi or buying Sensi, I want to say it's come back two or three, for sure two times, maybe three times. So, you know, it comes back frequently enough. All right. So that's sweet plum pastry. Uh, the next one that was in my club, and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, is Gingerbread Donut. This used to be in the fall winter catalog every year. I love it. To me, this smells like one of those old-fashioned plain donuts, but you throw in some of the, the ginger in it. Um, really, really good. I love it. I was devastated when it left the catalog, but thank goodness when the previous fall winter catalog was ending, I had put it in my club just in case. I always have some that I just put in my club just in case when the uh, when they retire because you never know what's going to come back and what's not. So like winterberry apple tea is one every fall winter at the end of the season. I throw it in my club just in case because I love it that much. This next one, same same situation. Um, Stroop Waffle Delight. This was in the fall winter catalog. I want to say for like, I'm thinking like two years or so. I love it. To me, it's like a, mm, it's like a buttery, um, there's a, I want to say Danish, but I might be wrong. A Danish dessert. Um, I try one at the grocery store. I don't know how, like, you know, authentic it is. But it's basically like um, a round, very thin kind of cookie. Um, usually it's like in a pattern. And it had some kind of a, it's like caramel or butterscotch right in the middle. And it's sandwiched between those two cookies. And apparently you're supposed to, like, sit it over a cup of tea or coffee, I guess, so that the heat from your uh, cup, it'll warm it up, and then it's supposed to be all ooey gooey. Anyways, the ones I bought from the store, they were good, um, but I'm sure, like, if you go right to the, the source, you don't be much better, but anyways, they were good, and because of this, I had to go to the store and, like, see if I could find some, and I wanted to try it. So, Stroop Waffle Delight. Um, like I said, it smells like a um, butterscotch, like a buttery dessert. It's bakery for sure. I was so sad that it didn't make it back in the catalog. This is one of those ones that I thought for sure would come back. So I'm really glad I had it in my club just in case. So I definitely going to keep it for now. I love it. And um, I'm happy I've got it. Let me know if it's one of your favorites too. And if you were sad to see that one not come back. Um, one that I'm actually currently melting right now um, in my room actually is a cutie pie cupcake. This is a bring back my bar. Uh, this one is basically, I believe they said like yellow cake with clementines. I'm all about bakery, obviously, desserts. I love desserts, and mm, this just smells like um, one of those 
you know, you can buy um, like orange flavored cake with the, you know, the frosting in between or like they have lemon and I like those and uh, that's what that reminds me of. It just smells really, really good. If you like bakery and fruity, it's just a combination of both basically. Next one that's in my, been in my club forever is uh, Happy Birthday. This one here I find smells just like funfetti cake, the one with the sprinkles inside. Mm, so good. I love this one. This one I have actually uh, currently melting um, all over my main floor, my girl's room. Uh, on it, if you're looking at the, um, the packaging, I know it's kind of reversed, but it says, uh, Oh, Canada, happy 10th cent centiversary. So basically, at the like anniversary of uh, Sensi selling in Canada or being available to Canadians, I guess, their 10 year anniversary, they released a I can't remember, I think it was like 10 bars. There was 10 bars, and if you wanted to purchase it uh, when it was available, you had to get the whole pack, I think. And I didn't want the whole pack. There was only, I think it was this one, and maybe, maybe one other one that I wanted to try. So you could put them in your club individually. So that's what I ended up doing. I put happy birthday. I remember I put two bars of it, and um, for a while I was getting two bars, two bars, till I got a good stockpile going. Like That's what I, I tend to do, like with the sweet plum pastry. I think I started with three or four. So the first couple times I, I got that much, so I had a nice stockpile because I had already bought one or two six packs of sweet plum pastry. So I like I like to have a nice you know stockpile. So if anything ever happens or I end up cutting it out for some reason, I have some in my stash. So th this is what's with the packaging. It was a whole Canadian thing. Um, I also um, it had come back during the bring back my bar as well. So when the bring back my bar was coming along and my Sensi Club, it was time for my Sensi Club. The packaging on that one would be bring it said bring back my bar and then once the bring back my bar time was over then they went back to this kind of packaging and it's been like that ever since so I guess they're just going to keep it up with this one and then just change it up if it's a bring back my bar one so I have some in my stash that say bring back my bar and then some that say you know the happy 10th centiversary all right has a lot of talking just for happy birthday now I got two more to cover uh this next one was a scent of the month last year October Walnut Raisin Muffin. I've talked about it a bunch. I love this one. It's perfect for fall, winter. Um, it's in my club. I don't see it going anytime soon. Going, like me taking it out. But I do have a brick of it still in my uh, brick stash that I ha I don't think I've even touched it yet. And uh, even though I have a brick in my stash, I'm still keeping the one bar in my club just to keep getting it because I... I really thought that this was going to be one of those scents that was going to come back in the fall winter catalog. I love it this much. I don't know if everyone else loves it this much or if it was super popular because it does tend to happen where if a scent uh, like Squeeze a Day was a scent of the month, uh, it was I think June a couple years ago and it was so popular that they ended up putting it in the catalog and I was hoping they would do that with Walnut Raisin Muffin. I love this one. It smells like, like I, if I were to sniff it without knowing the name of it, maybe I wouldn't be able to say Walnut Raisin Muffin, but to me this smells like bakery you can get that sweet from the, like I guess the raisins and that that spice note and it's not like super heavy duty spice but it's you can smell it it's really really nice I enjoy this one especially fall winter time I think it's just perfect all right last one before I go over the three new ones uh we're all mad here this was with the Cheshire Cat release um from oh my god I almost said Snow White um C Cinder not Cinderella Alice in Wonderland, my gosh. Okay, so this one here is supposed to be, I don't know if it's like lemons and berries and this one is just really, ah, uh, okay. One of my favorites, I feel like when it comes to the Disney bars, I know they're, you know, the extra 50 cents or whatnot. And I feel like um, I'm not uh, one of those really big Disney fans, right? You know, the ones that have to get one of everything and if, if I were a Disney fan, I would be in heaven right now. With Sensi, they've been coming out with so many awesome releases and buddies and, and bars. And it's just, you know, warmers and all that. It's super exciting for those kinds of fans. Um, so I go based on scent and, uh, you know, how well it melts and the longevity and all that stuff. So I'm not necessarily keeping it in my club because I like the characters or whatnot. So it's got to be really, really good. Like when it comes to something for my club, I always say I've got to love it right there's scents that I do like and I'll have it on hand and I keep on in my stash and if it tends to get discontinued well it's not that big of a deal right but these are the ones I feel like I can't live without and this is just one of those ones 
Um, I'm trying to think how many years ago it came out. I want to say like two years ago, maybe three. Oh, it's this fruity, it's sweet, it's, I think it's like, to me, if I were to guess, I would guess like some kind of berries, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, you know, maybe some bit of lemon in there. This is just fruity goodness all the way. We're all mad here. Let me know if you, you love this one as much as I do too. I mean, obviously I have to love it if it's in my club, right? So super excited uh, to get this. I always call it like my little stash every three months, I think it is, I get it. And uh, I'm happy with that right now. I know uh, some people get it every month. You can get it every two months. You can, you know, but uh, I'm happy with that because um, I do have, like, in my opinion, a large enough wax stash, um, which I know um, I said I was going to do a video on that and I'm still planning on doing it. It's just trying to, you know, manage everything and, and finding the time. But I will be def definitely getting to it because the, the cabinet is, is quite a mess and uh, I need to organize it anyway. So I might as well just go through it. And, and film it and show you what I got. Uh, so yeah, that'll be coming to you. And I also want to do like a little uh, warmer tour. Now that uh, we're into fall and whatnot, I've changed my warmers around. So I'd like to kind of show you guys what I got going on out there. So um, yeah, so look forward to those ones or keep an eye out for those ones because they'll be coming. Now, the three bars that I've been waiting on because I'm pretty sure they were released a while ago. And because I get my Sensi Club every three months, I had to wait for these. But I didn't, how do you say that? I didn't want to just place an order just for this or I just either didn't, you know, wasn't that excited about it maybe. I don't know why I didn't order it. I just kind of threw, sometimes I do that. I'll just throw it in my club and I'm like, eh, I'm good to wait until my club comes out. So the first one is um, from Disney's, I guess, Beauty and the Beast and it's the last petal and it's nice yellow wax. Uh, the description for this is pink grapefruit, bergamot, and then it says scattered flower petal so not it doesn't say which I'm assuming a rose petal hmm okay so to me um like reading the description it's going to be a fruity floral as I like to call them and to me this is more fruity than floral for sure I feel like it kind of smells a little lemony but I know bergamot isn't that kind of orange so the grapefruit the, with the petals, it's it's kind of citrusy with a little bit of floral in it. This is really nice, actually. I like this. I'm a, a fan of the fruity florals, as long as it's more, I guess, maybe more fruity than floral. And I feel like this lands in that category. It's definitely more fruity than floral to my nose. This is nice. I'm kind of surprised because just the the title of it being the last petal I thought for some reason it was going to be heavily heavily floral so I, honestly I wasn't looking forward to this one and I feel like I've been deceived or maybe I was just like you know misjudging it because uh, this is more fruity than floral and I, I just I thought I'd get it out of the way because I thought I was not going to like this but actually I can't wait to melt this one the last petal let me know if you tried this one and and what you think is it strong does it last a while and is it Definitely more fruity than floral uh, upon melting. So let me know if you tried it. Uh, next one that I'm excited about is from the movie Cars, Radiator Springs. It's got a beautiful red wax. Uh, the description for this one is lemon, pink grapefruit, red cherry, and sugar. So it's going to be a sweet, fruity scent. Yeah, definitely fruity. Um... I feel like I could pick up the cherry and then like I guess the lemon grapefruit I don't know if I could pick up either but like if I were to guess what scent this is I probably would have guessed like some kind of grapefruit lemon I can get that for sure and I feel like I can get the cherry in there and I guess the sugar is just the extra sweetness in it this is really nice let me know if you tried this one like I said these are kind of older I believe um, they weren't new 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 releases like very recently anyway so let me know if you've tried these this one here radiator springs it smells like it's gonna be right up my alley nice sweet fruity it smells like it's gonna be strong too so the last one is the one that I was most excited about mainly because I loved this movie as a kid and my kids love the, the movies and the description especially so the description for uh it's from the movie Aladdin three wishes beautiful blue wax love this color uh, the description is blueberry, sugared plums, blackberry, and cranberry. So, right away, okay, I love blueberries. One of my favorite fruits. I love strawberries and blueberries. 
Um, but I believe the Real Mad here has plum in it too. And I love, um, you know, sweet plum pastry. And then there's pretty and plum. So I get really excited when I see plum in the description. The fact that it had blueberry. And I feel like you can never go wrong with the blackberry and cranberry scents. I feel like um, the blackberry, I love black. Was it black raspberry vanilla? And then that, that vanilla blackberry was really, really good. So I have to say, this is what I was most excited for. It's so pretty. And I just love this movie. Okay. Oh, I can already smell it. Oh my gosh. This reminds me. Okay. This reminds me of Berry Bright and Blueberry Rush. If you've ever, okay. Blueberry Rush, I believe, is coming out with the, the new Bring Back My Bars uh, coming in January. And it was available, I want to say a year or two ago, in Bring Back My Bar. It had been voted back previously because I remember getting to finally try it. And Berry Bright was in the catalog, I believe, all last, like, fall. Was it last year, spring, summer, fall, winter, and then spring, summer again? And now I think it's out of the catalog. Yeah, because I remember finding that Berry Bright and Blueberry Rush were very similar. And I feel like this, like you can like lump them all in together. I, I mean, I'd have to have a, a bar of each to really compare. But like when I smelled this, the first thing that came to mind was Berry Bright and Blueberry Rush. If you like those, you're going to like this one. Oh my gosh. Mm, this is so good. This smells so good. Okay. I have to say between the three new ones... I think, I think it ended up being in the same order that I originally thought, even though, you know, I was pretty judgy with this one. But this is what I'm most excited for, then the Cars one, and then the Beauty and the Beast one. Let me know if you tried these. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that the Aladdin one smells like the uh, Blueberry Rush and Berry Bright. I think I have a bar of Berry Bright in my stash. I'd have to go, like, you know, put them uh, nose to nose kind of thing and, and check it out. But, um... If you like these ones, Blueberry Rush is coming back with the Bring Back My Bar. So that's another one to look out for. Um, I was thinking of doing a, a video on the Bring Back My Bar winners. Like, talk about the ones I've tried, the ones I haven't tried, the ones I'm looking forward to trying, and all that. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. Other than that, that's my Scentsy Club. I, I have a feeling I've already went into there. I'm trying to think. It's just been so hectic lately. Pretty sure I already went into my Scentsy Club and I've already changed things around. Usually once the my order processes and it gets ready to ship, I start kind of looking over my choices and seeing like, you know, if there's anything new I want to add, what I want to take out, that kind of thing. So um, you'll have to, I guess, wait and see come December, I think is my next one. But I know for a fact, I, I'm pretty sure I added two packs of cotton cleanups. Like you get the giant cotton pads, right, with the little handle things. So you don't want to dip your fingers in the wax. I always found that annoying with um, cotton balls and, you know, that kind of thing. I find they don't get talked about enough. I did a video on the cotton cleanups for sure. Uh, if I remember, I'll link it below. But um, I just feel like they're highly underrated. They're, it's 8 bucks Canadian. You get 25 of these big fat cotton balls, at, um, cotton pads, and they soak up like six cubes of wax. So usually when I'm going to do like a mass change out of wax I go from warmer to warmer soak up all the wax just using that one cotton pad I feel like it's really worth the money in my opinion anyways and so I know I, um I was looking at my stash I think I still have one full bag of cotton cleanups left and since my order is coming in December I remember adding in two packs of um cotton cleanups so I know those have been like selling out and coming back in stock and selling out so I just they seem to be popular if they're selling out. I just feel like they're not talked about enough. You don't really see them in the catalog. I just feel like, you know, they're, um, they're, uh, what is it? One of those things that are just awesome, but they're just flying under the radar kind of thing that nobody tends to know about. Anyways, let me know if you've tried the cotton cleanups. Maybe I'm just getting super excited over a cotton pad for nothing, but let me know if you like them, what you think, if they're worth it or not. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.